Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so that will be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and uh, rising as well. Weekly Tower reading for May 27th to uh, June 2nd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we can jump straight away uh, into the spread. Okay, almost there. All right, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for Scorpio's week, that will be uh, the Queen of Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Scorpio needs to overcome here, that will be uh, the uh, Chariot card. Furthermore, we do have the positive aspect of the um, week itself, that will be the Empress card. And the last one, which is the guidance that Saru is offering to us, Scorpios, because for those who wonder, I am Scorpio rising. Ah, uh, Scorpio's sun, excuse me. My rising is Aquarius. So, um, the topic for us, Scorpios, that will be uh, the guidance here for us, that will be the moon card. Okay, so, once again, topic, Queen of Cups, followed by the challenges, that will be the chariot card. Afterwards, we do have the Empress, which is the um, positive aspect, and the last one that will be the moon. So, uh, Scorpio, um, it's a big week, all right, but big not in a sense that many of us are expecting. Um, I cannot say that there are going to be major breakthroughs uh, in our regards, but this week. We are to uh, receive the, how do you say, the encouragement we do require and as well the support we do need in order to further our goal, okay? So, um, <clears throat> that is, uh, it is no different, guys, when you do have a certain um, aim, right? You do have a certain goal and everybody is against you and this week you will find that there is actually someone who is to support you or to support us. And even more, that someone is going to make a, a pretty good environment for ourselves through boosting our self-confidence mainly. Uh, will allow us uh, to actually be much more productive when it comes to either career or either relationship that is. And this is this most likely a woman, it could be as well a man, it doesn't matter the gender here. The Queen of Cups, it's a very sensitive person, a person sensitive to a point that this person very well understands where your plights are coming from, what you are dealing with, you know, they very well understand the battle that you are leading, either in regards to your career and or either in regards to your relationship. Now, unfortunately, that person can't really help you with anything material, but they can always offer you a shoulder that you can lean on when you feel wounded and when you feel misunderstood most of the time. Now, another thing with the Queen of Cups here is, is that uh, this person is very discreet. So you will have that 
well i don't i don't like to call uh, call that person that way but let's say you will have an emotional recycle bin so when you feel bad you will have always someone to cry on and that person will not feel bad for that you are crying uh, on their shoulder the accompanied card here this will be the ten of wands and i just said it the formation it is a, a passive uh, enemies that you will not be a burden for the queen of uh, for the queen of wands as a matter of fact they are going to be more than happy to listen to you more than happy to help you that is because they have a, a profound understanding in your nature where, where everybody sees a loser and failure that person uh, is seeing a uh, someone with yet a, a shining to to make shy to make shine excuse me so yeah they they, they do see that light that can spew from you so uh, the next card that we do have for you, Scorpio, that will be the Chariot, and this is the challenge. So although you are going to have that support, emotional support, encouragement from someone, you know, to chase your goal, unfortunately, like I said, they cannot help you materially directly to, uh, for you to chase that goal. You will have to understand, that will be the challenge, you will have to understand that if you don't help yourself, no one really can help you because the chariot expresses the luck of the hard work, independency, wish fulfillment, but only if you charge forward. So with that specific um, narrative, if you wait that someone is going to deal with your plights, that someone is going to deal with your problems, that someone will take care for your own, for your happiness, Scorpio, that will never happen. You will have to take care for your own happiness because everybody else is taking care for their own happiness, all right? So this is the challenge that you need to understand. You need to cope with, that is, that's, you know, if you don't do something about it, no one else will. And one more thing I wanna say about the chariot in case, you know, this, for example, let's say that you are a man and that is a little bit, or let's say a, a woman on your age or a little bit younger, it could be a little bit older as well, and there is a chemistry in between you two, this card points that you should not make it aromantic, at least not at that stage, all right? That will be the challenge here to traverse it into a romantic endeavor, and then you're gonna lose that person, at least I'm saying at that stage. The accompanied card here, that will be the Ace of uh, Cups, and just that is for the confirmation that we do have an, uh, an active supporters, uh, passive supporters, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, the emotional connection with this person is very possible and it is something that you will have to resist, like I said, at least at that stage. So, uh, let's say that, you know, you are trying to open a business and uh, nobody really believes that your business is going to be lucrative and successful and suddenly someone, a friend of yours, let's say that you're a woman and a friend of yours, which is a man, it's kind of encourages you. It's, it's always talking you positive about your ideas, about your business. Suddenly you are finding yourself spending more and more time together and, you know, emotions sprinkle from one to another. And at that point, you have to resist that urge because it's just going to ruin this support that you do have and the flawless and uh, and the flow of the relationship uh, that you do have at that stage itself when you detach yourself from this dependency you have for them for them to support you you know throughout the, your uh, undertaking then you may start thinking of well maybe you know we can we can be together but uh, the positive aspect here of the week itself, that will be the uh, Empress card. And so the Empress card points that this person is going to really do um, whatever they can to make your environment comfortable. So you cannot stress yourself for something else, but just having the uh, opportunity or rather like the option to focus on your prime goal. This is what the Empress here points. That even if they can, they will take a bullet for you just so you can proceed on further with uh, with your goal. So we, we it seems that you do have a, a very, very faithful supporter that is going to step out for you for throughout the week. May 27th to June 2nd. The accompanied card, that will be the Five of uh, Wands. 
and uh, uh, the formation here it is a, a passive uh, neutrals that we do have so um, uh, these cards are pointing that through the comfort that it will be created for you, you will start to consider some sort of an unorthodox ideas as well in regards to chasing your goal into, or to improving your circumstances. It's not, it doesn't have to be just, you know, a specific goal that you will have to chase. Straight away, in an example here, guys, you do have a really bad marriage. Not because your wife or husband is abusive, but because just things aren't moving on forward. You know, and a, a faithful companion of yours is supporting you, you know, they are creating a discomfort into your social circle for you to mainly focus on your marriage, you know. And um, <clears throat> as you do so, you start thinking of an unorthodox un un way to uh, save your marriage and uh, to make the things work. But as you spend more and more time and share more and more or uh, divulge more and more uh, information with this faithful companion, you may find out that you actually love him more than you love your husband or you love her more than you love your life, so just, more than you love your wife. So just be careful with this one, all right? <clears throat> and uh, finally, we do have the, uh, the moon card. And the moon card stands as a guidance. So the moon card here points a couple of things. The first is that you should not concern yourself with the opinion of everybody. The opinion is like a but. Everybody has it, you know, and it's there to carry. So you should concern yourself only with what with what you see as a productive. Because this person is going to support you unconditionally. Alright? So, um... <clears throat> The second thing that the moon here asks you to do is not to deviate from the path that you consciously chosen, all right? Just stick with your original plan or with your original idea. If that's your marriage, then your marriage should be the one, should be the thing that you should work over. If that's your, uh, you know, your relationship, that's your relationship. If it is your job, it's your job, you know, that you need to focus on. For me specifically, I do think that these cards are screaming about the uh, numerology videos that I am promising to you now. I don't know for how long and I finally have to do something to perform them it is just it takes so much time and so much editing you know because it's very exhausting doing it on one go and I always you know as English is not my native I'm start talking things that I don't mean and so on and so forth so yeah it's it's kind of like time consuming but I do believe that I have to give it a another go uh, the accompanied card here, that will be the tower. Oh my God, guys, that will be the tower. So this combo, it is actually a passive enemies. And uh, basically what it says is that you should not deviate from the path that you've chosen because the salvation it is just around the corner. Something very unexpected is going to happen to us, Scorpios. Uh, or basically the cards are asking you to believe in miracles, all right? Just believe in the miracle that is to happen, which is to traverse your situation into a... Uh, into a grand finale of um, success but that will not gonna happen if you don't put an effort into it if you don't toil for it just as the chariot card asks you to do so that being said Scorpios this was your weekly tarot reading May 27 to June 2nd 2019 I uh, hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're going to see each other around until then bye